YDS Guardians gave the Reality Stone to the Collector. Absolutely safe. The way Marvel used the Infinity Stones throughout the Infinity Saga was quite amazing. People usually end up arguing about certain events involving the Infinity Stones which didn't necessarily make sense. For instance, Thanos giving the Mind Stone to Loki in order to get the Tesseract has been thought of as an unwise decision. But look what the Mind Stone did to Earth after that. Yes, Loki may have lost it, but the stone alone wreaked havoc by creating Ultron and ultimately causing the Civil War. So Thanos probably knew that the Mind Stone is the harbinger of chaos. Hence his decision to hand over the scepter to Loki cannot be claimed as unwise. In the same way, we cannot call the Asgardians dumb just because they gave the Reality Stone to the Collector. I'd say that Star-Lord was wrong. Thor or the other Asgardians weren't idiots. Now I'm not saying that it was a genius move like Thor proclaimed. The Asgardians could have certainly hid it somewhere in the galaxy. But since King Bor had already tried that, it was time for a tactical gamble that could have led Asgard to other Infinity Stones. Theories suggest that Odin tried to collect the Infinity Stones in the past, when he was in his prime. The thought of assembling the Infinity Gauntlet could have been his originally, but he probably failed or stopped after finding the Space Stone as he signed peace treaties with other realms. He caged Hela, and he even hid the Tesseract on Earth after that. And the fake Infinity Gauntlet in his vault remained as a memoir of his dreams. Then in 2013, Asgard got his hands on two Infinity Stones as the Aether had resurfaced. That's when they thought that it would be unwise to keep two Infinity Stones together. So Lady Sif and Volstagg were sent to nowhere with the Aether. The logic behind giving the stone to the Collector was that the Collector was obsessed with collecting. Thor and Code knew what they were doing. Once the Collector had an Infinity Stone, he would have been obsessively driven towards completing his collection. And while he strives to collect others, the Asgardians could watch him from afar, letting him do the legwork of scouring the galaxy, seeking the stones that were still hidden. The gamble almost proved to work in Guardians of the Galaxy, where the Collector contacted Gamora and offered to pay 4 billion units for the orb. Without Tyvan's interference, the stone likely would have gone directly to Ronan and then to Thanos. The Guardians wouldn't have had any reason to come together, and Xander would have been destroyed much earlier. After Age of Ultron, Thor went on his own journey to find the Infinity Stones that were hidden. By this time, he knew that the Mind Stone was on Earth. He probably had a vague idea about the Time Stone as well. He knew about the Tesseract and the Aether. So after Age of Ultron, he probably followed a quest to find the Soul Stone and the Power Stone. And he also pushed the Collector to collect the Soul Stone and the Power Stone by giving him the Aether. All in all, it was a tactical gamble to assemble the Infinity Stones under Asgard's watch. For that, Thor cannot be blamed. He certainly didn't know that someone as powerful as Thanos was also after the stones. So in all fairness to him, it was a bold but right move to give the ether to Tanalir Tivin. What do you guys think about this analysis? Let us know in the comments. And do us a favor by hitting the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.